One of the unique things that we have spoken about before is the concept of slicing pie. I'm wondering if that's worth making a little video about. Yeah, slicing pie is a book and a methodology by a guy named Mike Moyer, who is trying to figure out how to reward people who are involved in your startup in a way that is just continuously fair. Uh, late stage startups don't really have this problem because their stock is out in the market, it is priced. And frankly, there's a lot of risk that gets taken out of it because uh, the later stage you get, the more liquid the uh, the value of your your stock is but how do you show people that you care right and how do they feel like they're participating in a way that's fair and the idea of i'm just gonna give you x shares and i'll give you y shares starts to get a little fuzzy as you start to have more shares and you have investors like how, how is all that supposed to work so his idea is that you have this idea of pi and pi is basically just a ledger of um you know, sort of virtual shares uh, that you're handing out and that you get uh, shares kind of in proportion to your contribution. And he sort of thinks of it as if you're putting in out of pocket expense for which you're not being recompensated, maybe you get paid back in pie equal to four shares per dollar of value you put in only for things the company really needs. If you're doing time working for the company, you get pie maybe at a rate of two pieces of pie per dollar of your fair market value of your time. And so that way, you know, as people who put in more time are getting more pie, right? Which gives them proportionally more of the company as you go. And as you might imagine, the overtime, these shares start to even out as a person who net overall did like 20% more contribution and had, you know, 20% more um, a rate than say their colleague did just because they're a more senior person or whatever, you know, winds up with 40% more of these pie shares. Now, the really cool thing is that you don't actually have to make them into shares where you don't have to have the taxable event that goes along with all this. What you do is to keep track of it as a ledger. And then later when you're going to have a liquidity event, right? Like, I don't know, you're handing out safes or you actually raise money. And now it's time to figure out who has what. You allocate shares proportionally based on the slices of pie. Right. So the question is not what's the what's the price of a share or what's the total dollar value of, even of the whole enterprise. It's going to be the the enterprise has a certain value, and we are allocating that value proportionally based on who's put in what, based on their cash contributions or you know direct contributions, right, that, that, that cost out of pocket, as well as the value of their time. And that way, you can have people who come in for a little bit and they get slices of pie. You can people who do a whole lot of work and they get more pie. And because you also have an idea of what your fair baseline is for the value of all this, you can also cash people out. Say, instead of getting pie, you just get your cash at the end. And that allows you to take people who, you know, maybe they were involved or not really involved anymore, and you don't want to have them on the cap table, a fair way to be moving them out, as well as a fair way to be compensating people. So now how do you, you have an advisor and you want to bring on the advisor and how do you know how to compensate that advisor? You give them slices of pie, right? Equal to twice whatever their extremely high consulting rate is, but just for the few hours they give. And now you have a way of being able to bring in all these people that otherwise like how do I compensate them how do we think about this because you know the obvious alternative which is cash is one thing that an early stage startup doesn't really have so that's the idea of pie trying to make it simple trying to make it fair and trying to make it you know all about the equity rather than having to spend a whole lot of cash so that people can be more excited and fairly compensated and hopefully keep the whole you know momentum train going and if you're finding this video useful then go ahead and click that like button Thank you. Nice. It also seems to account for the issue of founders stepping away from the project who have some percentage of the company and now they're no longer contributing or people who come in later stage start contributing more. It, it seems to account for that kind of perfectly. Right. So I'm imagining that you and me were in a, we're in a business 50 50 and then you're like, well, Ray, I kind of got you know my day job here and I want to keep doing that better. And Ray is excited about keeping on going. Well, Ray keeps on pouring in more time and more pie gets allocated to Ray. That doesn't make Tim's shares go away right? But it's basically uh, diluting you, right? Relative to what the end of it is. So if we started 50-50 and then it just sort of is adjusting based on how much time we're putting in, it seems fair that if Ray puts in more time later, that Ray should get more of the company. And now you just have a straightforward formula for it. And you're not trying to figure out, and this is actually where a lot of the things go into train wreck mode, is when you try to figure it out after the fact, right? Like, no, our deal was X. I should get 50% because our deal was 50%. I'm like, no, but I did 80% of the work. So why isn't it 80-20? And the, uh, by having the pie thing in advance, it sort of sets up what those rules of the game are going to be so that when we're playing it, we've um, it remains fair.
As always, if you want to stay apprised of the latest around emerging tech, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks.